What's going on guys? Today we're at a pond about a block away from my house. We're gonna do, be testing out some homemade minnow traps. There's a pond right here. It's about 25 degrees here. So it's pretty cold, especially for Texas. But gonna maybe fish a tiny bit and do some trapping and get out of here. So I am cold. Some ducks, the water is not frozen, but man, it is cold out. We got our traps, we got some dog food in them. We also got a rod and another trap in my pocket that we'll start off with. Okay, we got our line attached to it. Here's the plan. I'm gonna put some more line out. We're just gonna chuck her out. Is it? Yep, it's gonna float. Is it? Okay, let's try that again. I think I need to make more holes in it. Okay, got a rod out. We're gonna let that sit there. And we got our other trap. I'm only gonna set it to the dog, dude. I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you guys. Hopefully you can see. There are people walking here and I'm like, it's six o'clock and it's Okay, here it is. Let's go throw it out. Okay. We got the second trap out and it's just sitting there, so not quite it's not one hundred percent didn't sink one hundred percent, but should do fine. Okay, so I'm back at my house. It's been a little while since I checked the traps, but I'm gonna check them tomorrow. And I'm in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys how I made these traps. Now, you've probably seen a few online. Uh, it's the same basic thing. You need a bottle like this. Uh, uh, actually, I would recommend having one a little bigger. I'm using one this size, but so I don't have any any bigger. But you just cut this open. You do like here, and I like to cut down a little more, like here, just for these particular bottles. They're not that good for this. I would recommend getting this like a one or two liter soda bottle for a good trap. But this is all I have. Now you basically like this, turn it around, and you push it in there. And other bottles is more easy, but this one, this tight, you kind of have to squish in there. So it's like this. So the fish swim in here, and then they can't get out somehow. I don't know how, but yeah. So then. You get a stapler. You don't always need a stapler, but it's good to have one. So you staple this. I only do one. And then, um, you poke some holes. the old stabby. That's a lot, we're not. Oh my god. Bear with me, people. I'm 
understand why. What is this? Why? Okay. I will hold up there. You're gonna want a few more holes. Okay, we got our holes poked. This is what it looks like. Now we tie lines to this and throw it out in the water. I put dog food in here. You could put like bread and that's all there is to it. Okay, I'll see you back when we're checking the trap. Okay. Um pull I've reeled my rod in. I'm gonna go home and I will check this place tomorrow. Probably do some more fishing tomorrow. Okay, we're back at the pond. It's almost exactly 24 hours later. I'm gonna check my minnow traps. Didn't leave the fishing line today. The first trap is here. Yo, wait. It broke. The Did someone break our trap? That's really weird. Okay, well that's sad. Maybe we could look for it later. Let's go to the second trap. God, we got one. Yo, yo, we actually got a fish. If you can see that, let's get this guy. Get this guy released. Um, I think they're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to do something. Sort of ball, I think. Okay, I th think we had one. Okay, let's look for our other trap one more time. The ice is, the water sort of frozen over. Can't be littering. Get this stick. 
because the trap is just right here. Oh, we found it. Okay, is there anything in here? Okay. I don't think there's anything in here. I feel the water. That is not warm. As you can see, the water is freezing over. It doesn't happen in Texas usually. Okay. Um we're gonna put this is back in our pocket. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um oh crap, no! Gonna put, oh. Okay. Um Think, be prepared for another trout fishing video coming this weekend, maybe next week, because I am planning on going this weekend. We'll see if it freezes over. I don't think I'll be able to go, but I'm going to go back to my house because it's cold out and I am freezing. Goodbye.